we're just going to establish right now that I suck at outros, so once you get to the end of the video, I will be a blabbering mess. <laughs> guys this is my first video of 2017 so my first video of 2017 is gonna be a what's in my pack video I'll show you guys everything that I usually take on like a overnight tramp I guess these are like the essentials that I like to take I hope 2017 is 2017 have I seen 2017 these last few times I'm pretty sure I have oh how's 2018 going guys it's been so hot here in Melbourne like like right now, in my room is like a sauna. So if I'm like super red in the face, that is why. Yeah, let's just jump on in. So my pack that I have, this is my pack. This one is Katmandu, it's a multi 40 litre. And this one was really good because I needed something that was gonna be good for overnights, but also good for like day heights, so it wasn't too big. Like it probably looks quite big now, but when you see it on my back, it doesn't actually look too big. For me, this is like the perfect size. It has a front pocket. And then it just zips all the way down like that. Yeah. Easy access right down. And then there's the front one there. And then it's got side pockets as well, just down here. And adjustable straps and everything. And it's really like padded through the back. So like it's really, really supportive. Got, you've got buckles here for like across your chest. And then you've also got the ones down the bottom that go around your waist. And these also have like little pockets in there so if you want to like chuck scrub in or like I put my keys in there when I'm hiking because otherwise I lose my keys if I park my car somewhere I will freak out if I don't put them in these pockets because otherwise they will get lost in my bag somewhere and then I'll be walking halfway back I will just start to freak out about it I'll be like oh my goodness have I left my keys at the hut like <laughs> something stupid like that would happen to me and it's like not like that heavy canvas material either it's quite light so this is not a heavy pack whatsoever which is really really good with the pack you can also get these which is a rain cover these are good I wanted to use it once which was when I was hiking to Lake Angeles in the rain but these are definitely ideal and they're definitely like a just in case thing in case you've got stuff in there you don't want to get wet and it does start to rain spit or whatever you can just un unfold like it folds out and it's just a, a pack cover it just goes over your pack it makes your pack essentially waterproof but not always which is why which is why i always have one of these as well this is a rubbish bag you can buy proper pack liners but honestly i just use one of these these are cheap and you don't have about 20 bucks for one it will eventually rip and tear and i mean you know you can get these so cheap in a pack so why not um also with this pack you can get a two litre water bladder which just fits in here so it looks like this and basically it just slots in slides in in like that and then this pack is really handy because it's actually built for it so you can actually pull this out and then when you want to drink and you can just pull this out from like over your back and you can just have a drink of water like that and you don't have to like pull out your drink bottle which is so annoying Alrighty, so that's just like my pack set up I'm right 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 just my pack for an overnight trip you obviously need a sleeping bag this one is a really bad sleeping bag I took this to Lake Angelus with me and I think it's only like a plus five degree bag. Like a summertime one that like, I think this one was probably like one of those Briscoes ones you get, you know, when you have like a camping trip over the summer and you just need something to sleep in. So when I went to Lake Angelus with this bag, I absolutely froze my butt off. But I did, even then, I did have this. It's a thermal sleeping bag liner and it adds five degrees of warmth. When I went to Lake Angelus, I paired these two together and I still froze. Together, this would have given me like zero degrees, but I honestly think the temperature in that hunt got to like minus two. I even had like all of my clothes on, still just froze my butt off. But oh, my cup of tea. Mm. Speaking of tea, carrying on to my cooking because obviously when you go hiking you need you need something to like cook with. I mean unless you just want to live off muesli bars, which I think you're crazy because I love just sitting in the hut and just like pottering around and like cooking a proper meal after like a long day and you have like a hot meal and it's just so warming and you can sit wherever you are in your hut and just chill and look at the pretty view out the window and life is just complete also you need tea tea is essential first up i have this little gas uh, this one's like from the warehouse like you can buy these so cheap a wee backpacker stove and it folds out and it's a wee stove like that and then that just sits on top of the gas canister usually i take one about this big you can get these for like oh like two or three bucks i think and basically that just screws on on the top there and you have your, yourself a stove oh, these just amaze me like whoever invented these like you're a star you're an actual like legend 
because can you imagine trying to lug one of those massive like portable stoves like mm -mm, no sunshine mm -mm. so that is what i cook with cookware i used to take like a little pot with me it was a cheap one from kmart because i was like i just need something cheap if i break it it doesn't matter you know but for christmas i got given these brilliant things what this is this is a pot what are they c to summit Oh, I'll link everything in the description that I can find as well guys in case you want any of this stuff But basically that these bits come off and then that comes off. That's the pot lid inside It's got a mug and a plate. You have to buy these all separately. I'm pretty sure but then this is the pot It's got a stainless steel bottom, but basically this folds up Ooh. Oh my goodness like that and you have yourself a pot and this is 1.25 liter the outside is silicone so it won't burn and then you put that on the top and then that can sit on your stove and you've got yourself a mean ass pot and it is absolutely brilliant the bowls also do the same you know they just fold up like that you've got yourself a bowl and the beauty of these is they fold into absolutely nothing like they're so like what is the word durable versatile i can't wait to use these because they fold down into nothing and they're going to take up no room so that means i have room for more camera equipment and stuff like that so then it all just folds back into that and you're good to go i think all this stuff looks like so much in front of me right now but somehow it manages to fit in that pack of mine i also got given this which i used for the first time the other day this is a kettle it pops up like this oh my goodness this is the kettle and it's stainless steel bottom silicone on the sides it's got a pop-up lid like what is life guys this is ridiculous but i am a tea lover so this is honestly perfect if i just want to like rock on up to a heart and all i want is just a cup of tea and like a chocolate bar this is what i can do i can just whip out my thing fold this up pour some water in it and i'm good to go i used it the other day and it worked a charm and i was honestly so stoked with it the water boiled so quickly and i was a happy chappy oh speaking of tea as well and cooking I also take this with me. This is an enamel mug and I love this. It's so big. This one's Katmandu again. <laughs> and it just says, I am most alive among the tall trees on it. It's got like a pin. And I've just popped a um, carabiner to it, like a wee carabiner. And usually I just clip this to the side of my pack. And it's a big mug so I can have like a big warming cup of tea. And my life is just complete. That's like one of my favorite things in this like whole stuff. Guys. You also need cutlery to eat with. These I bought from Kmart. This is like a cutlery set. It's plastic. Like cost me literally a dollar, guys. Like, it's ridiculous. And it folds out, and you've got your, your knife, your fork, and your spoon, and it just it just folds down into nothing again, and that'll just slide down in my pack anywhere. I also take matches with me. Obviously, and usually I put these in like a little snap lock bag so they don't get wet because. One time, a group of us had wet matches and we couldn't light our little stove to make pancakes in the morning at this beautiful beach and it was very frustrating so we had to eat cold sausages the whole way home, like those pre-cooked ones, like mmm, cold sausages for breakfast, my favourite. Um, also fire lighters because usually, I this, the first time I went on an overnight hike by myself, I didn't take these and fire did not light to save my life. It was at Lake Angelus and the fire didn't light and I had to use like a notebook that I brought with me because nothing else would work and even then I couldn't get the lit. Me. But these are good. These are like the proper, more expensive ones. Like don't get the cardboard ones because they're like, mm -hmm. usually they come in like a big, big tray of them. I just chop a few off and then they stick in my pack somewhere. What's next? I also take a torches with me. A torch and a head torch. A head torch is usually what I use the most because once it gets dark and you want to use the toilet, the toilets aren't only in the hut. You have to go outside to use them. So you chuck it on your head, you go to the toilet, and you don't have to worry about dropping your 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 torch down the toilet oh speaking of toilets i also take toilet paper with me just in case because half the time i drink a lot when i walk and just in case you know you need to pee a long way and there's no toilet so you just want to jump in a bush toilet paper is good because you don't really want to air dry let's be honest that's not fun i usually don't take a massive roll usually i wait until it's down a bit and then chuck it in my pack it doesn't take up too much room it's one of those things that you just gotta have but some hot toilets won't have toilet paper so okay we just won't even go there <laughs> also take a microfiber towel microfiber specifically because this one here folds down into a little bag and this is like the large size as well so it's good but you know if you get wet or something you need to dry quickly these are good and these dry fast because you microfiber obviously so they're quick drying yeah just these are brilliant i take a small one which i don't have here i also take like a little little you know how you get those little travel size bottles i always fill a little travel size bottle with some dishwashing liquid to clean all my dishes with and a little cloth and i put it in like a wee bag just to keep them all dry and stuff next thing i always take spare clothes with me i think spare clothes are always important especially even in summertime you never know what the weather's gonna do when you're out hiking and you know if it gets cold all of a sudden you don't have spare clothes then you know you're screwed and you don't want to be walking 
because that's more fun. So I always take a spare pair of thermals, long johns. These came in a set, which I bought online off. In New Zealand, we have this website called One Day, and I saw these come up, and I was like, okay, these will be really handy. And it was thirty dollars for the set, and they are warm, but I know you can get better quality ones. But I needed these in a flash, and these are light and identical. And at night time, sometimes it can get obviously a lot colder, so. Those are really good. I also take fleece jumper. This is like a, a thinner one, but this one's good because it folds down less and I can fit under my rain jacket. And if it gets cold in a hurry and your legs aren't cold or whatever, you just need something for your top layer. That's really good. When you're hiking, layering is key because you need to be able to take stuff on and off. You need to be able to know your body temperature, I guess, when you're cold, when you're hot. Like you start off walking up a hill and you're wearing like thermals or thermals because you just don't want to pack it and you get up the hut, you're 10 minutes into this walk there's sweat streaming down your face and you're like man I really wish I didn't put all these thermals on straight away but hey you've put them on and you just can't be bothered taking them off so you just bear it. That is not a good idea because by the time you get to the top there's usually wind and when it's windy and you're wet with sweat <laughs> you're, you feel cold after that because sweat goes freezing and oh, really not ideal you don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> I also take a beanie I don't normally use this unless I'm up on top of the mountains or you know sleeping at night is really good you need something to keep your head warm and this is good and if you want to go outside and stuff and it's cold, you don't want cold ears, right, 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 right. And a pair of gloves because if I'm out taking photos at night time, you know, these are good. You chuck them on, your hands won't freeze. And my camera is flashing that I'm about to run out of memory, so that is good. The camera angle might have changed like a tiny bit. My thing started flashing in there. Oh, I forgot. Sunscreen. Always chuck in some sunscreen because, but I mean, when you're in the mountains, the sun is a lot harsher, especially when there's snow because the, the sun reflects off the snow and then it's like absolutely proof. Even if it's cold, you can still get sunburned. So sunscreen is good. I usually don't take one this big. This is just what I had to show you guys. And then after all of that is in my pack, I also take my camera gear. I got given a backpack, a Manfrotto backpack, and it came with this and it slides in the bottom of it. Basically it's got like all these velcro compartments in it and you can like take them out and you can tailor it specifically to your camera gear and this just sits in the top because obviously my camera gear is more, most important and I will probably be using it more than anything else in my pack straight away. So I put my camera, extra batteries and lens in here. Oh, another thing I also take which I don't believe I have with me is a power bank. If I run out of battery on my camera gear, it's always good to be able to plug in my batteries and charge them. Also your phone because your phone is like essential sometimes. I mean not usually because you probably run out of reception but um, I mean some people rely on it so it's just a good thing to have and the one that I have has a torch on it and also a compass. So that is everything that I have in my pack normally. I also take food obviously because you can't starve when you're walking. <laughs> food is life and tea is life. But I hope you guys enjoyed this wee video. This is just like the essential stuff that I like to take with me. I don't think I've missed anything I can think of. Oh, if you have it, I recommend taking a personal locator beacons. Basically, they're good in case you get into trouble in the mountains. You press a button or something on them and automatically you would like help will be sent to you. I think that's everything. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and wonderful start of 2018. I said it right that time. It's not 2017. It is 2018. <sighs> I just spilt my tea. <laughs> Guys, I am a state. Okay, I need to end this video before something stupid happens. So like and subscribe if you like this video and comment down below if you want to see more like this because I quite enjoy doing this actually because um, usually I do vlogs so this is pretty good. See you later.